Alright, let's see if we can build this config for case one where we have a uh, unique X common G mapping. So host one will join group one from source one, so on and so forth until we get to host n joining group n from source n. Alright, so I have got a couple ports here. Let me first start by creating the multicast sources. And what I'm going to do here is um, create one for a multicast source per um, <coughs> per group. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to finish that right there. And uh, make the source one. And I'll just use an easy address for us to recognize. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Right now we're doing this back to back. So I'm going to use uh, where n is equal to 10. Actually, let me just, yeah, let me make it 10. And so we'll just increment the, um, uh, I guess we can increment the, uh, multi the MAC address as well. So here we have 10 sources. And okay, what I'm going to do is build a multicast group block. And we'll call this uh, group 1. And we'll have 10 of these. And, uh, We'll do the same thing where we do a fill and commit and fill and commit. So each of these groups is multicast group blocks is associated with a different multicast group. Now we'll go ahead and build the host side. I'll just go ahead and finish that and say I think the host. One. And we'll use that address and change the MAC address just a little bit. I mean, we're doing this back to back. Um, I'm doing this back to back, so it doesn't really matter, but just, just for completeness sake. Oops. We'll do the same thing and just fill in command on those. Okay, so now what we want to do is now activate IGMP and all these and set them to IGMP v3. I'm also going to force single join just, just so that we can get one join uh, from each host and that it'll be easy for us to see um, in the capture how that works. Um, so we'll go ahead and edit group memberships. Now, this is where we have to do this, this way. Uh, because I selected all, all of these, if I go ahead and just say add and then select all, you see we have a lot of redundancy. Right? Host 1 is joining group 1, group 2, group 2, and so on and so forth. So we don't really want that, so this is sort of the painful part, right? So we'll just do it one at a time. It goes to group one. And then there might be a faster way to do this. Um, I don't know of any, unfortunately. But I know this way it works. So yeah, unfortunately, this is a painful part. So, you know, if you're scaling very high, obviously, this is not going to really be <laughs> fun at all. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, at this point, this is the only way I know how to do it. OK, 
Okay, so close that. Now if we select them all again and go to edit group memberships, you can see that host one is joining group one and host two is joining group two and so on and so forth, right? And so you see the group mapping here. Now at this point, these don't really matter whether it's many to many or one to one because it is one to one just um, because of the uh, number of groups in the multi cache group blocks and the number of hosts in the uh, host uh, device blocks. But we'll go ahead and make it one to one. Doesn't really matter again, like I say. Now, so for search filters, you can do it this way where we grab each multicast source and this is what this mapping possible where uh, this is unique for each host otherwise what the host does is if we didn't break it up that way then it would be basically a star comma g or a list of sources comma g when we send joins uh, and these So again, this is the, these are two painful parts, adding each of those, each of these rows, and then associating the source that you want each host to join. So you can see that how that works, right? So let's go ahead and uh, apply that. Okay, we see the apply is completed. We'll go ahead and uh, start capture and then we'll send a report for all the groups. And because I said uh, force a single join, it's only going to send 10 out. Uh, why did it not receive? Okay, that's probably a physical error issue. But we can look at the capture and, uh, I'm sorry, port two's capture. bring that down, it's in my other monitor. And so you can see here that five, host five, join group five from source five. Six, 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 eight, 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 eight so on and so forth. And so this is really what I think you're looking for. And so this is case one. Right, from host four dot four joined group four and from source four. Okay, so that's how that works. That's case one.